Hello friends, how are you? The last trailer from the Fast and the Furious 10 Fast X movie has finally arrived. And I wanted to talk about the details while there was little time left for the movie. It seems to depend on the old movies in general, in this case, it is necessary to watch the other 9 movies all over again for the new movie. As for the name Vin Diesel said when asked who he wanted to play in the 11th movie, in the interview he ended up with. Yes, Robert Downey Jr. for Fast and Furious 11. He said he wanted to work with an addition, Vin Diesel plays Dominic Toretto in the series, Robert Downey Jr. He explained that the character he was considering was a complete antithesis. So Robert Downey Jr. When he's in the series, he'll probably be the main villain of the 11th movie. Dom's antithesis is to say, considering Dominic Toretto cares about family, Robert's character would rather prefer solitude. Already in the continuation of his speech, Vin Diesel said that there will be someone who thinks this is the future and completely contradicts the Toretto mentality. The basis for Robert Downey Jr.'s villain can be laid for the aftermath of the 10th movie in the series, which will hit theaters on May 19, 2023. What makes Robert Downey Jr.'s villain so special is that he's still a genius. It will be a major villain promoting driverless cars and artificial intelligence. Friends, I think this was the biggest development that made me smile a little during this period. Robert Downey Jr. He's a good actor, not just as an Iron Man, but a good actor in general. It's like a bad version of Iron Man. As anyone knows, they were also working on the advanced human project in the movie Hobbs and Shaw. This universe looks like it's going to expand a lot, and I've said it before, and now I'm saying it again, it's like it's starting from the ground up like a Marvel or DC universe. So I'm looking forward to movie 11 more than movie 10. Now, if we come to the subject of the 10th movie, it is based on the Rio heist that took place in the 5th movie. Dante, the son of Brazilian drug lord Herman Reyes, has been plotting for more than 10 years to avenge his father. This newly emerged enemy will cause the Toretto family to scatter all over the world. And Toretto's son will kidnap Little Brain. I've said it before and now I'm saying it again, they said that Gizel, played by Gal Gadot, will come back in this movie. Because if the guy's been making a grand plan for 10 years, I'm sure he knows he has to use one of them as the ultimate way to hurt this team. Continuing, we see Deckard Shaw agreeing and talking to Han. Actually, you remember that Shaw was a big trouble for this family too. I think he's the best enemy we've seen so far, and he's a good fit for Jason Statham's usual characters. There are those who ask why Hobbs is not in the movie, namely Dwayne Johnson. He is not in the same movie as Vin Diesel because he has a fight with him. If a second movie comes out for Hobbs and Shaw, then Hobbs will just be back. There are those who are asking if Brain will return, but we didn't see much in the trailer. They only showed it because they used scenes from the old movie. But as in the seventh movie, they can show the brain using Paul Walker's brother. I like the cast in general. As you can see, our brother Vin Diesel can't stop, and he intends to extend the series like chewing gum. Normally Fast and Furious, Fast X movie would be the tenth and final movie in the series. However, later, Vin Diesel announced that Fast X will be in two parts. Then he said that he wanted to bring Robert Downey Jr. and use him as a villain in his own way. There is even a video on the channel, and there were those who were surprised by that video, because everyone thought the 10th movie was the last movie. Now, they have announced that the 11th movie is not the last and that Fast X will be in three parts. So the Fast and Furious series will continue until the 12th movie. It's okay for me, because to repeat the classic conversation, I say that if you leave your brain outside the hall and go inside, you will enjoy watching the movie. Fast X will be released on Friday, May 19th. And if there are any expectations for the movie, I would like to tell you about the reviews of the movie. Judging by the first comment, there is one critic who said it was the worst movie in the series but liked Jason Momoa. In another comment, we see the critic saying this movie is like Infinity War. I already explained the reason for this at the beginning of the video, since it will continue as part 1 and part 2, the end of the first movie should have been tied to a dead end. In another interpretation, there is a critic who likes Jason Momoa's villain, but calls the rest of the movie garbage. In the last critic's comment, he praises the character named Dante played by Jason Momoa and that's it. In other words, if there are those who have very high expectations about the script of the movie, don't be. People think that when a movie is part 1 and part 2, there will be a plot twist, but it requires clever dialogue and script. 
I look at such productions as the films of actors who are completely in a war of snacks and egos. Fast and furious after watching the movie Fast X, of course, I will share my thoughts and opinions about the movie. However, what I really question is, if even this movie opened with such criticism, what will the 11th and 12th movies be like? I mean, I don't understand why Vin Diesel insists on this particular movie series. While the 7th and 8th movies of the series made a crazy horror profit, the 9th movie did not make a good profit in my opinion. Here, we need to understand people, it's boring to watch the same story with different characters. Presumably it will continue in the same way in the 10th movie, but if Robert Downey Jr. happens in the 11th movie, then my hope is a little higher. Because the character that Robert will play is directly related to the story of this movie. It would start the introduction of artificial intelligence drivers instead of human drivers. I think that would be a good comparison, but where did the 12th movie come from? And these will remain as a big question mark until the 10th movie. Yes, that's all for now. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe and like.